I'm done. I'm freaking done. Okay. This stream right here. This stream that has not even started yet. This stream has not even started. Minecraft with subscribers live. I have not even initiated it yet. All I did was name it and upload a thumbnail. The stream is already demonetized before it even started. I'm done, YouTube, okay? I'm not even gonna tell you to fix your shit at this point because it's pretty obvious. I'm just gonna look for another website. In fact, I've already got one that I'm looking at. I've already got one I'm keeping my eye on. So good job, YouTube. Good job. Let's talk about how all at once, YouTube got my revenue back, right? Even though these videos were demonetized the entire time they were getting views. Um, they brought those back, right? The not advertiser friendly updates. Yeah, uh, I can get revenue on that now, even though no one's watching those anymore. But uh, in the first three days, uh, Super Shag Squad was up. That was demonetized. Then I got monetized again, and then I got demonetized, and monetized again. I'm getting really sick of this shit. But aside from me losing basically everything on Super Shag Squad, um, cool, we have these, these monetized again. So it seems like the whole process is working, right? And yeah, aside from these three videos that shouldn't exist in the first place being monetized again, don't worry guys, there's some great news here. Out of all the videos that were demonetized, all the videos, Ace and Cosmic Afro collab stream is back. So that's something, right? Also, that was streamed August 20th, and there's no way it got a thousand views over the last seven days. So I don't know why. This this is this is um going with my theory that when it comes to live streams, they don't even bother looking at it. They just immediately monetize it again. Well, not immediately. I mean, like two weeks later, they monetize it again after like all your revenue's already gone because they're not even going to be bothered watching through all the streams, right? And it's like, okay, well, maybe they're doing that for my other videos. Maybe they're doing that for the rest that are affected. Oh, wait, no, they're fucking not. No, they're not. Fucking Goldeneye and Sleeper Creeper. Still not advertiser friendly. Fistful of Frags, Spy Hunting, uh, Thunder Mountain Rainbow Glitch. I, I have no idea why that's not advertiser friendly. I really can't wrap my head around that one. So, Gary's Mod, Inkling Abominations, Welcome to Demo Night Hell. Still not advertiser friendly. We got uh, Fistful of Frags, I love this game. We got a Soviet Russia moment. That at least, you know, if, if it is a bot, that makes sense but I can't believe it hasn't reviewed it by now. Because it's been a long time. I swang first, fistful of frags, another one. Attack of the Shroom people, that's not advertiser friendly. Starbound, for some reason, is always advertiser friendly, regardless of the content in there, so that's a little weird. Uh, fistful of frags never is advertiser friendly for some reason. Like, literally all of my fistful of frag videos were demonetized, so that's something. See, look at this, all these Starbound ones are fine. There's even one that has racist Jimmy as a title, and that's fine for some reason. Left 4 Dead, not advertiser friendly. Box draw abominations. Freaking another Left 4 Dead, not advertiser friendly. All the Left 4 Deads, really. You just can't have Left 4 Dead. No Left 4 Dead, no Team Fortress 2, and no Fistful of Frags. Basically anything with guns in it. You know, except for Starbound, which has guns. Just, ugh, I don't get it. Why is Starbound okay? Because it's a 2D game? Because it's pixel art? I don't understand. Why is Starbound okay? Why is Minecraft not okay? Is a better question. Admin Abuse Abominations, not advertiser friendly. Is the Claydemore actually good? No, that's got a sword in it. How dare that be in there? Uh, Spied and Seek, we literally played Hide and Seek in Team Fortress 2 with the Cloak and Dagger. Is not advertiser friendly. Splatoon and Starbound are fine, but anything that's like a third person or anything that's like a first person shooter game, nah, forget that. Gary's Mod? Gary's Mod not is not okay. It's a sandbox game, but it has guns in it. Oh, but Starbound's 2D and pixelated. That's fine. Late Night Server Search. We're just not even... We're, going out, we're, we're just checking random servers. Not advertiser friendly. Prop Hunt is not advertiser friendly. Prop Hunt. I don't think there's even guns in that. It's like flamethrowers and boxes. That's it. Speedball. That's literally volleyball. It's not even like... I've been waiting. I've been waiting for that video, the first one, right, that I sent the report in. I've been waiting for that to be deemed advertiser friendly, and it's not! They're not saying it's not deemed to be advertiser friendly, they haven't even reviewed it yet! They haven't even reviewed it, and I know these are getting enough views, because these are my main videos. And why, for the love of God, is my live stream already not advertiser friendly? How are they gonna review that, huh? They're gonna see a blank screen. They're not even gonna have a timer, it's not even like uploading a video of a black screen, they're gonna see nothing.
Nothing's there. The video that I just sent in for them to review does not exist. They are actually demonetizing things that do not yet exist. This kind of goes with the theory that people are coming out with, that it's a blacklist, that you're automatically demonetized. What else could it be? How could they demonetize something that hasn't even started yet? It's not even on a schedule. I'd like to point that out. It's not even on a schedule. And I didn't even do a Steam announcement. I've told no one I'm going to do this. And now I can't do it because of this. But yeah, no schedule, nothing. I have never had an upload schedule. I've never had a stream schedule. I do it whenever. So there's no way they could predict this. None. They must just automatically demonetize everything I upload. But Mario Kart 8 is okay. They must have like a whitelist of games that are allowed always. Because I can't understand why Mario Kart, Splatoon, and Starbound are never demonetized. Ever. Regardless of the content. Even when, like, by a bot standards, they should be. They're not. But almost every single video, that's Gary's Mod, Team Fortress 2, and every single video, every single one, that's Fistful of Frags and Left 4 Dead, is demonetized. Immediately. And Minecraft! Why Minecraft? How is Minecraft ever not advertiser-friendly? I mean, aside from maybe some mods or something, I don't know, offensive texture packs? You put like some, uh, you put like some swastikas over w red wool or something? I don't know. What do you do? It doesn't make sense. You know what? You guys have recommended VidMe, and I gave it a go. And I actually like it. Uploaded a couple videos on here, got verified, and I'll tell you what. I'm gonna start, uh, uploading regularly on VidMe. Like, I'm gonna do cross-uploading on YouTube and VidMe, right? So if you're sick of YouTube as much as I am, head over to my VidMe channel, I'll have a link in the description. And if you want to be a content creator and actually have a channel, like a YouTube channel, and put out videos, don't fucking bother. Go to VidMe. Here's some free advertising for you, VidMe. I'm not paid to say this. Go to VidMe. It's so easy to actually start getting yourself together and actually start making a channel. I mean, look at me. I know people know me, but... I haven't really advertised that I'm on VidMe at all until now, okay? I've done a couple little comments in my comment section. But, um, yeah, I've been here for a week, only uploaded two videos, and 715 views, 161 respectively. Not bad. Not bad for a week ago. Not bad for the channel existing for like a week. Joined September 11th, what is it, 19th now? Okay, so, eight days. One more than a week. One more than a week. Well, this was uploaded one week ago, and this was six days ago. In fact, there's also some big names on here, too. I was watching uh, Nostalgia Critics' review of uh, Kangaroo Jack, right? Came out on VidMe two days before it did on YouTube. Oh, I got some big names here. Once you get verified, you get 70% of the ad revenue. You don't have to deal with the whole demonetization crap. Um, the copyrights are a bit more lenient, way more lenient, honestly. I don't, I don't think I've ever even run into one, uh, or even heard anyone who run into one, but I, I don't, I can't speak for that, because I haven't been here that long. But, uh, yeah, they've got nice little categories and whatever you can put your videos in. If you want to create your own shit, and if you want to help support, like, the channel AC Ocarina Maker, go to VidMe, because I'm done with YouTube. I'm just done. And YouTube, I swear to God, you listen to me right now, YouTube. If you don't fix this shit after this video is uploaded, I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna do like the uh, cross uploads for my subscribers who have stuck with me on YouTube this whole time. I don't want to alienate them, but I'm not gonna put effort into YouTube primarily. I'm gonna use VidMe because I'm done YouTube. I'm done. You can't push creators around like this and not expect backlash. But no, everyone just likes to. Uh, you're in your little mind, YouTube. Everyone just likes to bitch and complain, but they're not gonna do anything about it. Well, I'm doing something about it right now. Everyone, go to my VidMe channel. That's my primary channel right now, as of this video. Because I've had it.